there's a there's a few of y'all from Lafayette on this team, um, and you obviously in the starting lineup as a freshman. How how familiar are you with with the UL program in particular? A lot of guys on that team. Yeah, I grew up uh, going to the UL baseball camps when I was younger and stuff. So, and I know a lot of the guys over there like. Um, a couple of freshmen, Dylan Poncho, Hogan Harris, Jake Wharton, uh, and I played with Brent Conrad in high school, so I'm familiar with a couple of those guys, and um, it's gonna be fun just playing uh, against, you know, my hometown team, and um, you know, hopefully we'll beat them, so those some of the guys from my hometown won't be, you know, talking too much trash to me. So that'll be fun. Um, the UL was pretty involved in recruiting you for a while there. I'm uh, not really, actually. Uh, I didn't get recruited too much by them. It kind of kind of happened fast, recruiting process over here, and um, once I got my offer from here, I knew this is where I wanted to go the whole time, so that's a pretty quick decision. There's no, like, chip on your shoulder about them or anything like that, though? No, no, that's where I wanted to go the whole time anyway, so no, no uh, chip on my shoulder against them or anything. Um, that's where I wanted to end up anyway, so. Uh, with, I think Guillory's pitching for them, the, the Jennings guy. Do you, you know, did you ever have a chance to face him, whether in high school or, or no, the summers? No, I, I haven't actually, um, but uh, Andy and uh, Nolan have talked a little bit about what he, the stuff he's got. You know, he's just righty, 90-92, so that's kind of stuff we've been facing, and we've seen him in the seen that type of stuff in the fall, seen it this weekend, so we'll be ready to go against him. How do you all feel, I guess, going into to that matchup and then um, into – I mean, the rest of the season really into the A&M just offensively right now y'all for most of the weekend y'all were able to get hits or at least well hit balls and just weren't able to get the clutch hits until that that one inning late Sunday y'all exploded what's what's been the mindset starting out a new week uh, yeah that's just baseball you just gotta it's a new day now you just gotta forget about everything in the past and just carry everything over and um, just take your bats one at bat at a time and not not worry about what everybody else is doing and just try to build off of the hits everybody gets and you know, we just got to, in those clutch moments with guys on second base and runners in scoring position, we just got to get them in, and I think we'll do that once, uh, once the time comes. It was just the balls weren't falling for us this weekend. So, uh, Did you, when the two teams faced last year, did you get a chance to watch much, much of that season, the, the postseason series? I got to watch, uh, I got to watch the first game when, um, when Lang pitched and uh, went into, did it go into extras or was it in the ninth that they won? When Chamber hit the ninth. walk off, yeah, it was night. Yeah, I got I got to watch that game, and that was pretty that was a pretty incredible uh, experience to see all the fans and everything. And um, I actually had to I was sitting around some UL people, so you know, I got I got a little bit of taste of that. And their their fans, you know, there there's some dedicated fans at UL also. So it'll be it'll be a nice little battle tomorrow. You, the, are, were you really much aware of who Wally Pontiff Jr. was when you were growing up, or? Not really until a couple of years ago when they had this game. I didn't really know much about him until I saw this game on TV and I uh, saw the, you know, all the stuff they showed about him. They showed a little video on TV and everything. So I didn't know too much, but now, you know, now I know who he is and everything. Yeah.